Good morning. I'm Ray Reynolds from the Somerville Church of Christ. We're so glad you've joined us together today for our time of Bible reading. We are in Joshua chapter 13. So be sure and grab a copy of the Bible and open it up. Read along with us. Grab a notepad if you want to take some notes. Let's dig into the Word of God. The Bible says, Now Joshua was old, advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You're old, advanced in years, and there remains very much land yet to be possessed. This is the land that yet remains, all the territory of the Philistines and all that of the Gersherites. From Sihor, which is east of Egypt, as far as the border of Ekron northward, which is counted as Canaanite. The five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, the Ashtadites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, uh, the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites. And Marah, the, that belongs to Sidonians as far as Aphek, to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gabalites, and all Lebanon toward the sunrise. From Bel Gad below Mount Hermon, as far as the entrance of Hamath, all the inhabitants of the mountains from Lebanon, as far as the brook Mizrafoth, and all the Sidonians. Them I will drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide it by lot to Israel as an inheritance, as I've commanded you. Now therefore divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and half tribe of Manasseh. With other half tribe of Reubenites and Gadites received their inheritance with Moses. He had given them beyond the Jordan eastward, as Moses the servant of the Lord had given to them. From Aror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the town that is in the midst of the ravine, all the plain of Madiba, as far as Dibon, all the cities of Sihon, the king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon, Gilead, the border of the Geshurites and the Makathites, all Mount Hermon and Bashan, as far as Salka, all the kingdom of Og and Bashan, who reigned in Azroth and Adria, who remained in the remnant of the giants, for Moses had defeated and cast these out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel did not drive out the Gersherites or the Makathites, but the Gersherites and the Makathites dwell among the Israelites to this day. Only the tribe of Levi he had given no inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said to them. And Moses had given the, tri the tribe of the children of Reuben as an inheritance according to their families. Their territory was Aror, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that's in the midst of the ravine, all the plain of Mediba. Heshbon and all its cities that are in the plain, Dibon, Bamoth, Baal, Beth, Baal, Maon, Maon uh, Jehaza, Kedmoth, Mephath, uh, Kirjathame, Pisgah, and Beth, Jeshemoth, all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon among the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses had struck with the princes of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, who were the princes of Sihon dwelling in the country. Children of Israel also killed with the sword Balaam, son of Beor, the soothsayer, among those who were killed by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was on the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben, according to the families, the cities, and their villages. Moses had also given inheritance to the tribe of Gad. The children of Gad, according to their families, their territory was Jazer, all the cities of Gilead, half the land of the Ammonites, as far as Aror, which is before Rabbah, and uh, from Heshbon to Ramath Mizpah and Batanim, and from uh, Mahanim to the border of Deber, and the valley of Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Succoth, and Zaphon. The rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, with the side of Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of, of Gad, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses also had given an inheritance to half of the tribe of Manasseh. If for half of the tribe of the children of Manasseh, according to their families, their territory was from Mahanaim, all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, the king of Bashan, and the towns of Jair, which were uh, are in Bashan, 60 cities, half of Gilead and Asheroth and Adri, uh, cities of the kingdom of Og of Bashan were for the children of Maker, the son, son of Manasseh, and half the tribe of the children of Maker, according to their families. 
These are the areas which Moses had distributed as an inheritance to the plains of Moab on the other side of the Jordan by Jericho eastward. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses gave no inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he had said to them. These are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed as an inheritance to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and the half tribe, where Moses had given the inheritance to the two tribes and half tribe on the other side of the Jordan. But to the Levites he had no inheritance given among them, for the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land except cities to dwell in with their common lands for their livestock and their property. As the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. And I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore to me on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot is trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive. As he said, these forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke to the word of Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am, eighty-five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now my strength for war, both for going out and coming in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain on which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. Joshua blessed him, gave him Hebron to, to the Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, uh, the Kenizzite to this day, because of the, he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron formerly was Kirjath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war. So this was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. The border of Edom at the wilderness of Zin southward was the extreme southern boundary. And their southern border began at the shore of the Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward. Then it went to the southern side of the ascent of Akramim, passed along to Zin, ascended to the south side of Kadesh Barnea, passed along to Hezron, went up to Adar, and went around Karka. From there it passed through uh, toward Asmon and went into the brook of Egypt, and the border ended at the sea. This shall be your southern border. The east border was the Salt Sea, as far as the mouth of the Jordan. And the border on the northern quarter began at the Bay of the Sea in the mouth of Jordan. Border went up from Beth Hogla and passed north of Beth Arba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. Then the border went up toward Deber, the valley of Achor, and it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the uh, ascent of Adamim, which is on the south side of the valley. The border continued toward the waters of En Shekmesh uh, and ended in Enrogel. And the border went up from the valley of the son of Hinnom and the southern slope of the Jebusite city, which is Jerusalem, the border went up the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is the end of the valley of Rephaim northward. The border went around the top of the hill on the fountain of Naphtoa and extended to the cities uh, of Mount Ephron. And the border went around Bela, which is Karajath Jerum. Then the border turned westward from Bela to Mount Seir, passed along to the side of Mount Jerim uh, on the northward, which is uh, Cheshelon went down to Beth Shemesh and passed on uh, to Timnah. And the border went out of the side of Ekron northward. Then the border went around uh, Shikron, passed along Mount Bela, and extended to Jabneel, and the border ended at the sea. The west border was the coastline of the Great Sea. This is the boundary of the children of Judah, all around according to their families. Now, Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a share among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, namely 
uh, Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. Caleb drove the, out the three sons of Anak from there, uh, Sheshai, Ahimam, and Talmai, the children of Anak. Then he went from there to the inhabitants of Deber. Formerly the name Deber was Kerjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He who attacks Kerjath Sefer and takes it to him, I will give uh, Ex Exha, my daughter, as a wife. So Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him... Uh, Ashka, uh, his daughter, his wife. Now it was so when she came to him that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So he dismounted from her donkey uh, and Caleb said to her, what do you wish? And she answered, give me a blessing since you've given me the land in the south. Give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper spring and the lower springs. This was the inheritance of the children of Judah according to their families. The cities of the limits of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzeel, Eder, Jaker, Kenna, Demona, Adada, Kadesh, Hazor, Ithnan, Ziph, Telem, Baaloth, Hazor, Hadata, Hesh, Kirioth, Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam, Shema, Molada, uh, Hazor Geda, uh, Heshmon, Beth Palet, Hazor Sh uh, Shaul, Beersheba, Biz Jothja, uh, Bala, uh, uh, Igium, Ezim, Eltalad, Chesiel, Hormah, Ziklag, Madmana, San Sansana, Lebeoth, Shilhim, Ain, and Ramon. All the cities, 29, with their villages. In the lowland, Eshkatal, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, in Ganim, Tapua, Enam, Jarmuth, Adalam, Soka, uh, As uh, Azka, Sharaim, Adathaim, uh, Geradara, Migdalgad, Dilene, Mizpah, Jokthiel, Lakish, Bozkath, Eglon, Cabin, Lamos, Kithlish, Gedaroth, Beth Dagon, Nama, and Makeda, 16 cities with their villages. Libna, Ether, Ashan, Jiptha, Ashna, Nariz, uh, Nazib, uh, Kyla, Ashzib, and Merashah, nine cities with their villages. Ekron, with its towns and villages from Ekron to the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod, with its towns and villages. Gaza, with its towns and villages. As far as the brook of Egypt and the Great Sea, with its coastline. And in the mountain country, Shamir, Jadar, Saka, Dana, Kirjayath, Sana, which is Deber, Anab, Eshema, uh, Anim, Goshen, Holon, and Gilon, uh, 11 cities with their villages, Arab, Duma, Ashin, Janum, Beth, Tapua, uh, Epheka, uh, Hamta, Kerjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Jatua, uh, Jezreel, Jokdim, uh, Zanoa, Cain, uh, Gibeah, uh, and Temna, the ten cities with their villages, Halhal, Beth Zuar, uh, Gader, Marath, Beth Anoth, and El Tekin, six cities with their villages, Kerjayath Baal, which is Kerjayath Jerim, and Reba, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Araba, Medin, uh, Sakaha, uh, Nib Shan and the city of the salt near Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwelled the children of Judah at Jerusalem to this day. Really appreciate you tuning in to our time together reading the Word of God. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day. <laughs>